And so this is, again, uh, Diet Coke can, Coke can, you can do whatever uh, favorite sodas or pops you would like. Um, and then you need firecrackers, which my original firecrackers I got from my brother-in-law, bought them at an Indian reservation in the state of Washington. And then when we moved to a new building, all my stuff got moved perfectly to my room, except for my firecrackers were missing. Uh, it's suspicious, those were the only things gone, but since I didn't know if somebody like took them because I wasn't supposed to have them, or somebody just stole them, I wasn't going to say anything. You know, it's like if somebody has something illegal and you steal it from them, they can't go to the police. Right? And so I had to get some more. And so I found out you could actually buy them online and they would ship them to a warehouse and then you go pick them up. Um, and so I did get some more. They don't allow you to do that anymore. Uh, not surprising, I guess. Uh, and so really, if you're going to get firecrackers, maybe go to Chinatown around this time of year. I bet they're pretty easy to find. Uh, just walk into one of those uh, stores there and say, hey, I'm looking for firecrackers. Um, and so you probably can find them, or if you're traveling through certain uh, states that still uh, sell them, um, you can probably get them. But I still want Pablo said, nah, go ahead and show them. Is there a specific type of firecracker? I just get the black cats. Black cat. Uh, I, if you get a different kind, you know, some of them are more powerful. Uh, I would test it out without students around first. Um, and so um, I just tape it to the middle here. This is a conservation of momentum demonstration. And so it's got zero momentum. And then afterwards, the total momentum should still be zero. So you'd say Diet Coke is moving in the positive direction. Coke is moving in the negative direction. And the trick is, how do you measure the velocity? And so that's what these, I call these flags, the cardboard on top of each is. And I would have a photo gate set up by each one. And so they're going to move through the photo gates. Um, and I know the distance, and the photo gate will tell me the time, and so I can get their velocity after the collision, that explosion. It's like a reverse collision. And it works pretty well. It doesn't always work with every class, and I'll show you some of the things that go wrong in a little bit here. But uh, uh, it usually works pretty well. Um, obviously, you wouldn't have a student sitting there or a student sitting there. You guys, based on my experience, are pretty safe, but if you want to maybe move, I just, you know, I guess it could bounce zero. I don't, it usually goes pretty straight. You might think there's going to be friction. I put it on this piece of Hot Wheels track, but in watching the videos of this, I'll show you the videos, they pretty much get airborne. And so I don't think it's very, very important what you put them on. The track kind of lets them sit in a place and keeps them from rolling around. So just to show you what I'm looking at, I've got the fuse sticking out there. Um, and so I'm not going to measure the velocity or anything, but just, uh, no, we can't do, oh, well, it's a public high school. We can't have explosions. Oh my god. Do you know how many OSHA violations this would have occurred? <laughs> and so I'm, I say we just imagine that I light it, then I'll show them the video. That's right. Because if I were to reach up and touch that fuse, it would make a loud sound. And so, it would be prudent to put your finger over your ears if I were to do something like that. But of course, it would have to be an accident. Oops. Hey! I learned this from, he actually has his students do it, but they get it all set up around the room and they all have to light at the same time. And so he doesn't have these random explosions. I wouldn't go that far, and I understand a lot of teachers would not do this in their classroom. I understand that. But if you're driving through an Indian reservation or a, uh, a state that allows the purchase of things, or you're in Chinatown, maybe you might include this. The kids love it. Um, 